All right, so the kids are playing down there at the playground. And we are up here enjoying the view. There he is. Very cool. Pretty cool. The Fremont Troll. Yep. He's, He's pretty cool, huh? And it is crazy busy. There's like tour groups under here. And parking, um, we were forewarned that parking was kind of crazy. So it was a, get your camera ready, hop out, get your picture. Right? Yeah. Colorado? Oh, the VW bus, which is kind of Oh, cool. that is kind of cool. I didn't even notice that. That is kind of cool. This is right down from the Fremont Troll, so it was a short little drive, so we're going to check out the park. Looks like there's pretty views of the city. Yeah, look at that. That's really cool. That's cool. Very neat place. It's a cool playground down here. So we've we've seen these uh, houseboats on TV, and they're not really boats per se; they're barges. And uh, they are like usually have like some kind of motor in them, though. Uh, that one maybe, but like that one's made out of concrete, so that one just sits there at the dock. I mean, they all just sit at the dock, basically. Well. <laughs> but you can see them all over here. It's here. super cool. Not my idea of what I want to say when I want to live on a boat. Yeah. I want an actual boat. Yeah, these don't really go anywhere. But these this are just is houses. cool. These are just floating houses. Is what yeah, but it's really cool. It is really cool. Like, <laughs> I'm glad you're having such a good time, bud. What a beautiful day down here on the water, right? Yeah. Here's the chase boat. Yeah. All right. So we are down here at Ballard Locks. Uh, we've seen locks before, but we came down here because it's supposed to be really cool and we're looking for the salmon ladder. And the sea lions or seals. And sometimes I heard that there are seals down here. So yeah. we're looking. There's a sign about right here. <gasps> Look. It's a seal. Can you see him in the water? Oh, he's gonna come up. He's gonna come up. Oh, he just flipped over. Oh, look at him. He's so big. It's a good fight. I think they already have it up Alright, so here's the salmon ladder. Hey, let's go to the visitor center and check it out. So the seal came in here. Daddy. He moved around this. What are you seeing? Look, look at it. It's like a water tornado. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The salmon that you see here at the fish ladder are a perfect example of that adaptation. We are out on the, uh, I don't know what this is, the lock, I guess. Yeah, this is a spillway, I think, really, yeah. this part. Yeah, so this part's the spillway, which is cool. Yeah. You can see the big doors keeping the water back. And then right up here is the lock. And this is the only lock I've ever seen where pedestrians can walk over it and it's like not a big deal and then there's the control tower up there yep. so she was saying that uh, people come through in their kayaks you can come through in here oh really and she said you can just hold on and it's kayak or canoe sometimes i've seen rubber rafts there's that water flowing in yep. leveling out Stepping it apart. Oh, they're they're fighting. fighting. This is way better than Sea World. <laughs> <laughs> You're so cute. Yeah. <laughs> and he's showing us. She's bringing it to us. That's Mount Rainier. That is awesome. 
you can see from all over. That's our first look at it. That's pretty cool. That is. Is that where we're going Dude. next? That is where we're going next after we leave Seattle. It has some snow on it. It's a good thing we got snow stuff. Gumball. <laughs> Ew. Alright, so we just got our order. Alright, there's napkins up there. It looks good. Let me see. That's good. Alright, so Cooper got a chocolate. How is it? Good? Oh boy, Cooper said it's good. Daddy, what'd you get? Oh, uh, some kind of bacon hash brown thing. Is it good? They were pushing everybody through so quick, I didn't have time to look. You were supposed to look in line. The line moved quick, so I didn't really know what I wanted. But this is pretty good. Am I supposed to just eat it with my hands? Yep. Is it good? Okay. Yeah. Mike's Place Market is crazy packed, even with everybody all masked up. They're out and in numbers. We, um, I, I said we felt like salmon swimming upstream walking through that market. That's probably the most accurate way to put it. So I don't think we took even any video in there because it's just. I did take video. It's so crowded and people yeah. are just everywhere. Yeah. Uh, it was a weird experience after being like out in the Olympic Peninsula and just spending months in national parks and stuff to be like in a city crowded with people. Very weird. Yeah. So we came outside for some fresh air. It's a foggy day. How is driving and parking here in Seattle? Awful. How stressed were you when you got home yesterday? Pretty stressed. It's stressful driving in the city. The roads were made for like, I don't know, horses or carriages or something. <laughs> they weren't made for cars. They certainly weren't made for F-250s. <laughs> so it is a, um, it is very anxious driving through here. I have to tell you, I think Google even has a hard time like keeping up because there are roads that cross over roads and things like that. And so I found that even difficult yesterday, trying to tell him to navigate because we'd come and I'm like, well, it says to go to right, but there's like three roads that are going to the right. So yeah. it's it's difficult. Yeah. So um, I think yeah. what we've learned over our year of traveling, we prefer two lane roads. Mm -hmm. We love it when there's not even a stoplight in the town. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've, we found plenty of those cute little places. Yeah. And uh, even going to Pike's Place Market today was like, a stressful there's like too many people there's and everybody's people. everybody's masked up and everything but you just yeah. feel like oh this is too many people this is not good because it's it's your typical there's a bunch of people so someone stops in the middle for whatever reason and they're in the middle of like walking traffic yeah i think just spending the last year like basically in the woods has yeah. made me like like cities even less yeah like, there's just too much going on here there's yeah. too many people. There's too much traffic. It's just not good. We got to visit, and that's great, but <laughs> we will be happy to head I to mean, the woods in a couple of days. There are some absolutely beautiful places in Seattle. It's very cool. Tons of parks, lots of art. Here at the Volunteer Park Conservatory, uh, where we're gonna see some cool plants. Let's go check it out. 
So cool. Paradise. Yes, that's L.O., yep. That. Okay. Wait, aren't these the barrel? Yeah. Dude, they look fake, right? Dude, this thing is so weird looking. The Conservancy is only $4 for adults to get in. It's free for kids. So I would definitely check it out. It was really, really cool to walk through. All right, we are here at the Klondike Gold Rush Museum. It is in downtown Seattle. And it is free to get into if you have your park pass, although it just says free right there, so I don't know. Yeah. Maybe it's free to all. But Let's go a, check it out. But it's part of the National Park Service, so. Okay, so we got our junior rainbow. And we are in. Oh, there's We are here at the Waterfall Garden Park in downtown Seattle, birthplace of UPS apparently. So it's a cute little park that's like just right in the middle of downtown. It's a block away from the Klondike uh, Gold Rush Museum and it's really cool. It's similar to what we were seeing in uh, Fort Worth when we were in Fort Worth. Yeah. It's kind of like that. These are cool. All right, we are on our way to the one thing that we decided to pay for uh, in our trip into Seattle, and that is the Chihuly Glass Museum. World famous glass artist. Really excited to go see him. Hi, there. All right, let's go. There's a space needle. Even the bunny is like the Chihuly Garden. So if you made it this far into the video, I wanted to say thank you for that. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe. And as you can see, you can do Seattle on a budget for very, uh, we've spent very little money and the kids enjoy that stuff just as much as the expensive stuff. Uh, so you don't have to go spend a ton of money in Seattle. You can spend a ton of money, 
but we didn't. We were on a budget and uh, really enjoyed ourselves. So if there's something we missed, let us know in the comments down below so the next time when we're Seattle, we can enjoy it. Thank you guys for watching.